This is Dr. Holt. I want to go over how to add vectors when you have different coefficients other than just one. In this case we have a minus one half b plus c minus three d. Okay, so we're okay with a and we're okay with c because we don't have any changes. Let's talk about what's taking place with b. What's happened with b is we've made it negative. So really what's taking place here is we're going to reverse this vector and well, actually what I'll do is I'll draw another vector coming down this direction here. And I'm going to move some of these angles around so we got a little bit more space. I'll move the 80 over here. Alright, so now what's happened is I have a vector. It's going to be half as long as B and it's going to be going the opposite direction. So I'll proportionally make it like that. So now this vector is going to be have a magnitude of 25 newtons because it's one half of B. So we've replaced B with this new vector and we'll call that B down here. Alright, now the thing about the angle, if this angle is 62 then we know that this angle here would also be 62 because it's a vertical angle. So what we can do now is we can just take B out and let B be gone. We'll delete it and we'll delete it. Alright, now let's take a place what's happened with D. D has been gone minus, but it's been increased by, by a factor of 3. So what we're going to do with B, B was already heading back toward the origin. So what we can do with B is we can, re we can reverse it and make it longer. Like that, and we will drop that one down. like that. I'll make it a little bit longer. And now instead of being 30, we'll go ahead and change this, and now it's gone to 90 because we're multiplying it by 3, and we reverse the direction, and we'll move this out like this, and again this angle here would be 80 because that has not changed. I'll show that in red. So its angle from here, the x-axis, to here would be 80 degrees. All right, so now we've 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 accomplished all this. We've reoriented everything to meet the negative one half and the negative three. So now we're ready to add vectors vectors together, just like we did before. So we'll drop down here. I'll scroll down just a little bit so I've got some space to write. And now we can see everything. So we do the problem exactly what we did before. We're going to sum up the forces in the x direction first. And we'll start with A. So again, A is going to be 60 times the cosine of 47 degrees. And then plus B. And B is going down. So it's going to have a positive. If you have a positive x value, so it would be plus 25 times the cosine of 62 degrees. We jump to C. It's going to have a negative x value, minus 20 and again, we'll do what we did before. This angle would be 41, and so this angle here would be 49 degrees, coming off the x. So it would be 20 times the cosine of 49 degrees. We go to D, and that would be plus 90 times the cosine of 80 degrees. We'll get our calculator. We'll run those very quickly. We got 60 times the cosine of 47. That gives me 40.92. We're going to go ahead and add that to 25 times the cosine of 62. That gives me a sum right now of 52.66. We're going to subtract 20 times the cosine of 49. That gives me a value of 39.54. And then we're going to add 90 times the cosine of 80. And that gives me a value of 55.16. So we'll go ahead and write that, 55.16. Okay, now we do the same thing, and now we're going to sum up the forces in the y direction. Okay, so that's going to be 60 times the sine of 47. We jump to our b vector. v is going to have a negative y value, so minus 25 times the sine of 62 degrees. We jump to C. It's also going to have a negative of 20 times the sine 
of 49 degrees and then D this time is going to have a negative 90 times the sine of 80 degrees we're going to add those values up 60 times the sine of 47 gives us a value of 43.88 we're going to subtract 25 times the sine of 62 that gives us a sum of 21.81 we're going to subtract 20 times the sine of 49 that gives us a value a sum of 6.71 and now we're going to subtract 90 times the sine of 80 and that gives us a sum of negative 81.92 again the units here are going to be newtons and newtons alright so now I'll scroll down a little bit if I can give myself a little bit more space and what I like to do at this point would be actually draw the vectors so I know where they're being located I draw my X we're gonna we're gonna come over 55.16 this way then we're gonna come down 81.92 this way my resultant vector is going to go from here to here again tail tail and we always end up with head head we'll go ahead and change this to a different color since that is our resultant, we'll make it red. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, label everything. We'll make this value be 55.16. We'll make this value be 81.92. I'm leaving the negative off because I'm showing the direction going negative. We will find out a resultant. And a resultant is going to equal to Pythagorean theorem, square root of 53.16 squared plus 81.92 squared. We'll run that calculation and that will give us our resultant. So 53.16 squared plus 81.92 squared we take the square root of that oops excuse me here do it again 53.16 squared plus 81.92 squared second square root second answer that gives us a value of 97.66 so that's going to be our resultant vector and now we'll go ahead and find this angle out here Again, we know that theta is equal to the excuse me, theta is equal to the inverse tan of the opposite over adjacent 81.92 divided by 53.16. That will give me theta. So 81.92 divided by 53.16. Second tan, second answer gives me an angle of 57.02 degrees okay so now we have everything we need we have our resultant angle we have a resultant value here we're going to make that Newton now if the question does ask you the orientation in respect to the um, positive x-axis is to show just draw a little picture to show what that looks like <clears throat> then what I would do in this situation would be we know this angle here is 57.02 we want to find the angle from here all the way over back to here if I'm looking for this angle we'll call this theta 2 if I'm looking for theta 2 we know the angle from here all the way over here being a straight line is 180 all we have to do is add 180 plus 57.02 and we will get the angle coming off the positive or positive or, uh, excuse me positive x-axis and that'll give me a value of 237.02 degrees and that's really all you have to do all right again best of luck on these type of problems I hope this helped you as far as understanding how to add vectors when your leading coefficients are values other than one.